of musicians here, very staples on the LVI scene, but you've definitely played well beyond not just LVI, but the great Garden State. This is the beautiful thing about the uh, synergy of the G-Rock family, because right now on Common Threads, we have a couple of guys who just played for us at Freehold Raceway Mall this past week for Common Threads Live, where we bring local musicians out into free, fantastic situations for live music. But you're also a G-Rock Rising, I will say band, because that's, I mean, even though you both do your own things and stuff. So we have, uh, we have Ted Hammock and Matt Fisher. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thanks a lot for having us. Now, I mentioned you guys are staples, especially this time of year. It's the dog days of summer. You guys have been now, you have so many shows uh, all across LBI under your belt. If you want to just tell us a little bit about where you can be found, say, in the next few days, or just what the summer's been like. Sure. Um, well, we're, we're definitely staying on the grind there. We're playing uh, six nights, sometimes seven nights a week. Um, we're at uh, we're at the Seashell on Sunday nights, uh, the Gateway on Monday, uh, Nardi's on Tuesday, Buckaloo's Thursday, Daddy O Friday, and Wednesdays and Saturdays kind of switch it up. So but, you guys uh, pretty much own LVI right now this time of season. It seems like it seems like you've been. I given, wouldn't say yeah. that we own it. I think it actually <laughs> owns us. That's a good That's way to it. As it would it. turn out. Um, no, it's fun. We're busy. I mean, you got to shake it up. You got to show them the moves on the scene, you know? <laughs> You're all about the moves. I am yeah. all about the moves. That's what I'm doing. I mean, dancing is my <laughs> real passion. This is just my side job to, like, pay the bills so I can show them my real talents, dancing. Now, the album that you guys are supporting when you're out and about and that people have really come to know the songs from is Making My Way. You have a title track that you'll be playing for us in a, just a little bit on Common Threads. But I want to make sure we get all the info in. Uh, you do something that's somewhat clever and somewhat a uh, rule of survival, I think, here in the Jersey scene, especially playing out live in the summer, and that's that you guys mix in your original tunes with some of the songs that are along the same vibe, if you want right. to kind of explain what somebody can expect to come see Ted Hammock and Matt Fisher for the first time. Yeah. Well, I think that, um, you know, that is that is the beauty of what we're doing, and, and we're not so tied to, we've always been, had people come out for our songs as well. So, and if you come to, for the first time, you're not going to, it's not going to be a huge difference to hear, you know, us doing our own music as opposed to a cover. It's not like, wow, this is definitely their own song. I think a lot of the stuff even gets lost because even some of the covers we do, some people think, all right, are obscure. <laughs> yeah. Like it's like a dispatch like or a Citizen thing, Cope yeah. or something like that. So I think that that's where it really works out well that we are playing original and it's not looked, you know, it's not, I don't think frowned upon in any kind of way or anything. Anything so? I actually got a wildly insane compliment back to my fear that I might become arrogant, because this guy is really I think, and this is also something I notice observing like the Beatles, The Grateful Dead, they all did covers, you know, they wrote their music, they all did covers. I think the trick is to even writing songs, you have to learn how to make a song feel a certain way, not just sound a certain way, feel a certain way. And if you can do that with your own song, you can do it with someone else's song, and that's how you end up with your own interpretation, if you will, because it just naturally is who you are. That or we're just lazy and we don't learn them properly. <laughs> and we just play them our own way because, eh, it's close enough. These chords sound all right. But we don't want to play them the same way that somebody else played them because you want to make them ours. We want to be able to be like, oh, you know, Ted and Matt's version. We, we actually we, we like your version better because that's the version we got to know. Right. Before they heard, you know, the the real song. I, th I think it's more of the former. That's the late run, right? The one that was <laughs> yeah. further away and that you said it was the interpretation. So I think it definitely is. And it is just a sign of creativity, I think, to be able to still do your own thing and, and pay some homage to some of the bands that have maybe inspired you along the way and that people will be familiar with, but you're still doing your own thing when it comes down to it. For people to find information about the album, Making My Way, where they can see you, not just at LVI, going mm -hmm. into the fall, you'll be playing at even more varied uh, terrain. It's all at your MySpace page, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So if people want to... Uh, it's myspace.com slash Ted Hammock. Um, and yeah, you can get every, every bit of information that you could ever want from there. Okay, so you two are going to play us uh, a song now. What are we expecting here? Um, we're going to play a song, the title track, from our latest album called Making My Way. Um... Anything to add? Um, I'm looking forward to playing it, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so, Ted having Matt Fisher on Common Threads doing Making My Way, the title track off of their album.